People who know me and know about my art also know that I have a passion for language, signage, text art, and books. Words. Words have the power to uphold systems of oppression, or words can subvert them. These are just some of the many projects that I've undertaken over the past two years. I've used words and text art to tackle many different issues that I'm passionate about. But one of those that I am most passionate about is the fate of my people, the Palestinian people. Let me tell you the story of one of my art projects where a book on Palestine was both the inspiration and the product. This is a favorite book in my personal library, Digging Up Jericho by Kathleen Kenyon, and it's the archaeologist's account of a major archaeological dig that took place in that ancient town during the mid-1950s. As both a Palestinian and as an archaeology enthusiast, I have read Digging Up Jericho multiple times over the years, and the subject of the archaeological digs at Aina Sultan has often been an inspiration for my past art projects, but it was only this year in my most recent reading of the book that it struck me how many times Kenyon used the word Palestine and only in the context of the current battle being waged in the media on the erasure of that word. Each time I read the book now, it's like an affirmation. In this artwork, called Letters from Kate, I've documented 88 instances in which Kenyon uses the words Palestinian or Palestine, and I've created a photographic compilation this is an artist book with a sampling of some of those photos from my project. You know, what I love about living in these times, no matter how difficult, is how much we've come to realize that museums are not neutral, and libraries are not neutral, and the telling of history certainly is not neutral. And as an artist, I do what I can to subvert harmful power dynamics because art is not neutral either. Thanks for watching.